a lot of people say, and so many columns I've read, have this whole new year, new you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that tagline? <sighs> I, I just, I think, I should, we might feel the same because whenever I hear it, I'm like, but I like me. Right, right. I think, you know, all in our culture, this idea of a New Year's resolution is so popular because, of course, there are always little things we want to adjust and change and tweak. We're always on our way to the, you know, the next step and elevation and all of that. But, you know, the, the marketing and the, you know, products target this weak spot of, like, I'm not good enough, there's something wrong and I need to fix yes. it. Yes. So the new you is not coming from this place of, like, I, you know, I'd like to elevate this part or I'd like to heal this or I'd really like to step into my power. It's more of, like, this is broken and I need to fix it. I'm not this enough, I'm not that enough. And um, so I, I feel like just, you know, brands and companies prey on that and it's just the way we've started to think. So that's another thing we're really pushing against. And here in our classes, we're really taking our time. I mean, we're well into January and we haven't figured out what our resolution is yet. And we're doing the yogic version of res resolutions, which is called a sankalpa. And instead of coming from this place of fear and I'm not good enough, I'm broken, I need to fix it, sankalpa comes from a place of love. Like, oh, you know, where, what, what am I gonna nourish? the most yes. this year and when it comes to actual changes we talked about in class today and changing habits if we think about the thing we want to stop right. we're really not going to get anywhere like i gotta stop this i gotta stop this I gotta stop then that's all we'll think about we need to think about like what we want to nourish and where we want what we want to love more and then that other stuff just falls away right. so we approach it a totally different way here and i love that because so many times my mantra in my head, when we talk about mantra mm -hmm. a lot in class is, oh, I need to do better. Oh, this, it's just that negative mantra. But yeah. here we focus on the positive mantra, uh -huh. which I never would think to do that. So mm -hmm. it is incredibly powerful. And so that brings me to uh, resolutions. Yes. And I loved when I came back to class in January, mm -hmm. I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna come and all these people are gonna have these resolutions and they're gonna be <laughs> super motivated. And I'm, not, I'm just like, I'm figuring it out. And I loved that you said, no, take your time. Because <laughs> yes. if you want a life change, and you said most people, I think the date that people dropped their resolutions yep. was- Like 17th, January 17th. January 17th, <laughs> yeah. right? If you rush into it and don't make that conscious decision about right. what is best for you in the long term, yeah. Just gonna give up. Right, <laughs> we have a whole year, so we're taking our time. Let's figure it out. Let's work. Like, let's quiet down. Let's really hear the voice, you know, highest self, sending us the message of what thing should we focus on? What thing? Yes. And we don't have to do it all at once. Like, for you know, maybe it doesn't even have to be for a whole year. But you know, like, what do we really want to put the nourishment into this year? What if we're gonna feed something? What are we gonna feed this year? Yeah. 